Coming up, red wine. Someone's having red wine and spills it on your carpeting. Do you happen to have a slow drain? Is it getting clogged up? Look under here in my boy's bathroom. It is so nasty, but this is going to be so satisfying. You are going to want to know this life skill, but we need to go underneath. So follow me down underneath this sink. Under here, my friend, is what we need to do in order to release that. What you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and squeeze this, pull it out. There we go. Maybe a little tricky at first. There we go. Now that you got this bracket loose, and trust me, this is gonna be worth it in just a second. Underneath here, you're gonna wanna put a towel or a bucket just in case, right here, in case something leaks. Then you're gonna loosen this. We wanna pull this out. Oh my word! Look at that right there. We're just gonna go ahead and set this down. Okay, that's nasty. But wait till we see what's in the sink. Here we are, it's loose. Oh my gosh, look, no freaking joke. Like, should we just get in here? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what have my boys? Oh, I'm gonna barf, I might just vomit. Oh, literally, what, why? This is why my drain is going so slow. So maybe you have something similar in your house. This, oh gosh, okay, we're gonna get a tool here, hang tight. There's just a few tools that we're gonna use for this job, a bucket of warm water, a garbage can to dispose of all of this. You don't want to run any water because remember, we took that little plug out. I like some Dawn Power Wash Excellent Degreaser. Nothing in this video is sponsored, by the way. Microband, I'm gonna talk about this here in just a little bit. And uh, I paid for all these products myself. And this, I love, ah, and a toothbrush. So let's go to town, shall we? Oh, and I forgot to mention, an old towel or some paper towel. Let's let that soak for a hot minute. Let's get a light down in there, shall we? The next thing that's gonna be really helpful to you is a brush, something like this. These bristles are pretty tough so that we can get all the way down in there. This is so nasty. Can I just point this out, by the way? Oh my goodness, like why is it black? Why is all this black stuff in here? We're not putting black stuff into the sink. I think we got almost all of it. Okay, let's move over to this gadget here. Ugh, this is where this is handy. Look at that, like no elbow grease. Let's get these last smidgens. Also, if you're wondering, would this fit down in here? No, it does not. That's why this brush is pretty handy. Toothbrush is great, but as you can see here, it's not as long as we would like it to be. And sometimes you need to go just a little bit further. And I'm gonna show you a secondary reason your bathroom may be stinky in just a second. That is looking so much better. I mean, I could get real crazy though and like wanna get it all here and here, but oh, woo wee! Look at this dirty water. Look at, oh, 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 oh. Now it's time to reinstall. Let's wipe this up. I'm gonna put it in like this with the open part facing me. Then we gotta go down below. This part was from down below. Let's clean this off really quick. better. Now it's time to install this part. Take this one, just get it in there a little bit. Then I'm going to put it on the fourth one. There we go. Sort of like an anchor. Then you can lift this up. Stick the little ball in here. There we go. Let's see if I can turn it the right way. <laughs> Lefty loosey righty tighty. And that's nice and secure in there. All right, let's check up top. Let's test. Ooh, look at that. I'm gonna move these brushes aside here momentarily. And I'm gonna turn this inside out. These are some of my old, old towels that I use for cleaning stuff like this. I like to go in with this because it smells great. It kills bacteria, it cleans. Now, make sure you get a little in this hole because sometimes water accumulates in there and it can cause your bathroom to stink. Water, moisture, dark places. Bacteria loves that. Ah, runs so much more smoothly. 
Unfortunately, my toothbrush has taken a beating and we have all of this black stuff in there, so I'm just going in with a little toothpick. I feel like I'm doing surgery on a toothbrush. Ah, that is looking so much better. I'm just gonna take these really quick. I'm gonna use my spray so that I can sanitize these. <laughs> oh, what to do with this? Let's go down here. Sludge. We're here in my girl's bathroom. Let's see whose is worse. We got this part out. That's pretty nasty. I'm just gonna put this in my bucket here. Let's pull this out. Ugh. 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 Why? Oh man, let me get my toothbrush and some paper towel. But we'll just dump this here in our bucket. Let that soak. This is like, yes, cousin it coming out of here. Ugh, I can just feel it. Like if you wanna throw up for whatever reason. Oh, I might vomit, no joke. Oh, oh, oh God. This might be the grossest thing I've ever done. I think I'd rather deal with poop. like a charm. As tempting as it is to get your face down there to see what you're working with, keep it away. You don't want anything like this splattering up in you. Or better yet, wear some goggles. Well, look at all this. And the winner is... I think it might be my girls. Or does that make them losers? <laughs> All nice and clean. Let's dump this one. Let's talk about cleaning your oven. It's kind of a dreaded job, but not anymore, my friend. I like things that are quick and effective. There are a lot of different ways to clean your oven, but I'm gonna show you fast ways that work. Get yourself some gloves, you're gonna want it. For this, you want some sort of good degreaser. Again, not sponsored by Dawn, but Dawn, if you wanna sponsor me, I'd be all for it. And then I like a good scrub daddy. You know, we're gonna get this nice and wet, warm water. It's gonna do what it needs to. And then a long handle brush to get in there. And then I may go in with an electric brush. Let's just see, but let's get a before of this oven. I do have one other little trick here when it comes to cleaning this glass. If these products do not work and we got some, I don't know, we got a variety of things going on there. We got burnt pizza, cheese, random balls that look like mouse droppings. <laughs> No, a mouse has not been in here. Okay, let's make this all shiny, shall we? Now it's warm, nice and soft, just right. Oh, by the way, if you've never tried the lemon scented version, it's awesome. We're gonna do the door last so that I'm not wearing what's on the door on my shirt. Now, if your oven is super bad, you're gonna let this sit for like 15, 20 minutes, but I just wanna go in right away to show you how well this is gonna work. Oh, and if anyone's ever told you to use baking soda in your oven, I would avoid it because if you do not get all of that baking soda up, you're gonna have white streaks in your oven for a long time. It's so satisfying, all the suds. This is where a longer handle brush comes in. That way you don't have to crawl inside of your oven to clean it. Hansel and Gretel, yes. I was trying to think of that story rhyme book where they crawl in the oven. Someone gets trapped in an oven, I don't know. I should have timed this to see how long it actually takes me. Can we get a clock, a clock here up here in the microwave so we can see what time it is? Oh, we got here on the, on the oven. 12.17, we'll say we start about 12.15. Again, why am I wearing a sweatshirt? <laughs> Okay, here is 
one of my favorite parts. We're gonna rinse all of this out because it's really satisfying. You can use paper towels for this next part. I'm just gonna use this pack of 75 microfiber towels that are washable. That is looking pretty darn good already. Ooh, me likey. Going in with just a spray bottle and water. Now spray it on your oven as many times as you need to to ensure that there's not any soap residue left over, but this is looking so much better. Let's move on to the oven door, shall we? Look at all these grease stains right up in there. Yep, going in with some power wash. Again, if yours is really, really bad, let that baby sit. I can see already that this grease is not gonna be lifted up. Granted, I did not let it sit. Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you a little trick for that. Same thing next, spray with water to lift any remaining soap residue. At this point, you could swap in some vinegar spray. However, I'm not a huge fan of the smell. I think water works just as fine. See all this grease remaining here? It's clean, but this is really stuck on. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna get some of this ultra fine steel wool. Anything I talk about is gonna be linked in that description box below. Professional glass cleaners will recommend that you use this, but I'm just gonna get it wet. This works better than a razor blade in my opinion too. Watch. Wow, that makes me so happy. And I'm not even putting that much pressure on it. This works great if you have hard water spots as well. Look at, I'll show you side by side here in just a second so you can really see. Ooh, there's some stuff uh, stuck on stuff real bad right here. All right, let me grab a paper towel. I'll just use this. Look at this. <laughs> so much better. I mean, you can get crazy in here and you'd be like, I'm getting that one, and then that one, and then this one. I mean, this door be looking brand spanking new. Or if you just want to do this super quick, you can do that too. Just depends upon how detailed and type A you want to get with your cleaning. Let's get a look at the time here. We're at 12.34, granted I had to go get supplies. We had to change out a camera battery, but this is pretty awesome for oven cleaning. This hasn't been cleaned in a while. I don't know, do you remember the last time we cleaned this? It's like a year maybe. <laughs> That's the truth. So for those of you who say my house is spotless, oh no, look at this, I'll show you. I got dirt. Ooh, look at this. It is looking so nice. I am loving this. Now to truly clean inside of your oven door, I need a small tool in order to take this off. Now there are some tools that you can fit inside here, but in my experience, it just doesn't work too well. I made a whole video about how to take off your oven door. Typically it's pretty self-explanatory and easy You unscrew things. Again, I don't have the right tool that I need that will fit in this small space right here. Look at how nice that looks. Now you may be asking yourself, Andrea Jean, how about those oven racks? Stay tuned, my friend. I'll show you that in a later video. Let me show you a little something. Look up here on the top. See all this? It kind of looks like mold. But it's basically dust and lint. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take an old towel down here and then I have some hydrogen peroxide. And again, I wanna make this quick and easy. And, and you could just do this with water if you wanted to. But you're gonna wipe that area up clean it up. You could go in here with a little cleaning toothbrush if you wanted to, just to give it that final, that little extra. So your stove and your oven doesn't look so hairy. Cleaning hairbrushes. This is another task that I put off. I'm gonna show you a quick, effective way to get the job done. You are gonna want something long, such as the back of a comb, but look at these brushes. Let's get a before like this one what is grown in there an animal died of some sort and then look could you see all that in there nasty oh this comb this one's a doozy i use this on my girl's hair every single day oh, oh my word but we're gonna do this lickety split the first thing that we need to do is extract all the hair as best as we can from these brushes 
Hold on. Let's lay this down. Much better. I just have a garbage can here beside me that I'm gonna throw this hair into. Make sure that you go both directions. I hate white brushes like this because you can really see how much hair is in there. I mean, I suppose it forces you to clean them more often because you hate seeing it. But the black one hides the hair so much nicer. Ugh, this one is really disgusting. Like, I don't know, has this ever been clean? We should have timed this one too. See, cleaning can be fun and fast. One day, just sit down and write out all the cleaning tasks that you've been meaning to accomplish. And then each day or when you have a chance, set your timer and see how quickly you can clean that one area you've been putting off and make it sort of a game with yourself. And cleaning is a great workout too. What is this one? This is, wow, it's like white. And then this guy, oh yeah, yeah. That is really caked. Whole hairspray. I'm gonna need to loosen that up. Okay, I got most of the hair out at this stage of the game. I can go in maybe just a little bit more on this one, get both directions. Moving into our next part, you're gonna get yourself a nice bucket of warm water. What are we gonna put in this bucket of warm water, you ask? I guess the theme of this video, although I didn't intend it to be, some Dawn Power Wash. This is for everything. Put these in here, let them soak as long as you have patience for so that the dish soap can really lift everything up. You could do this with hair conditioner, but I don't love that as much as just using some Dawn dish soap. I think the dish soap works better. And then just go in with your fingers a little bit here. See if you can extract any remaining hair. We're cleaning them. I'm gonna show you how to sanitize them in just a moment. Toothpicks also come in handy. Watch this, oh my word. <laughs> oh, so gross, yet I'm loving every minute of this. Not nearly as gross as the uh, sink drains that we clean though. Thumbs up if you can agree on that one. Okay, I didn't realize how bad this was caked. I mean, I did, but now it looks even worse. We got a theme today, Dawn and hair. Toothpicks, these are like one of the world's greatest inventions to get all those really annoying nooks and crannies. It's like glue. I can't believe I've been putting it off this long. Oh wait, yes I can. <laughs> Who wants to spend their day doing this? But it's gonna feel so good when we're done. This is great for cleaning your uh, earbuds, AirPods. Oh man. All right, we're getting there. Here's a little trick. This looks like a graveyard of hair boogers. Set it down so you have something to work with, especially if yours are as bad as mine, and go in between every single little slot to really work in there. Something about this is becoming relaxing. I feel less anxious. <laughs> like, huh. you may break a few Q-tips in this process. Get some more. Thankfully, like a hundred or something come in a tube or a box. I said toothpick. Apparently I didn't say toothpick. What did I say? Q-tip. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> if you've been here, you know what I mean. <laughs> Q-tip. Why am I thinking about Q-tips? Oh, that's better. Like, it looks like mold in my comb. I need you to do this after this video, and I need to know, are yours better or worse than mine? Like, who's getting the award for dirtiest combs and hairbrushes? Now you're just gonna pull your brushes out one by one using your toothpick, not your Q-tip, and get any remaining hair stuck in there. Like, look in here. This, like, I wanna gag looking at that. Oh, but I'm, I'm happy about it too. Like I can see it all in here. The toothpick is nice cause it's a little bit smaller. It's just not as long as the end of the comb. I mean, it's kind of addicting if you ask me. It's like popping zits. It could be a professional zit popper. <laughs> okay, now it's getting weird. Oh, that one's bad. So look at in here. Look at in here. Look at our comb and brush booger graveyard. Let's move on to the next step. Now grab yourself some hydrogen peroxide with a spray top from any bottle that you have. And we want to make sure that these are smelling lovely and we wanna make sure that we're killing any remaining bacteria on here and then we need to make sure that we allow these babies to fully dry. 
Now your brushes and combs will be cleaner than ever before. I love saving you money and space. So I've been testing out these again. I bought these with my own money. These Earth Breeze laundry sheets to see if they actually work as a family of six. And I have to say, I've used almost all 60 of these before I'm bringing them to you. You can use these with hot water. You can use these with cold water. You can do half a sheet if you have a small load. You can do one sheet for a larger load, or you could do two sheets if you have like an extra large load. It doesn't have it's just super subtle smell, if you ask me. I love these, especially if you are traveling and you wanna do laundry. You don't wanna to have to carry laundry detergent with you. <laughs> that wouldn't go well. And oftentimes you don't wanna carry pods with you. These are fantastic. You can just put a couple of these in your suitcase and then you can wash your laundry if you want to when you're on vacation. Come home and your laundry is all done. Now, if you love this idea, again, this is just like environmentally friendly all at the same time. You don't have the plastic bottles. I mean, let's just look at a size comparison and you don't want to lift heavy detergent bottles. Winner, 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 chicken dinner. Come on over here. Did you ever want your toilet to smell like fresh lime? Well, I certainly love some fresh lime. These actually work for cleaning your toilet. Again, so much space that we're saving. Watch this, look how cool this is. My voice totally gets real nasty. Put that in there, let it dissolve. You can use a second strip if you wanted to, depending upon how dirty it is. And then you're gonna let this sit and dissolve for about 30 seconds, you can see. Oh yeah, watch that baby break up. It's scented with essential oils only. Saving the environment, not having to deal with plastic containers. And then watch. The thing I love about this is you can really see down in this part of your toilet with these strips, there isn't a blue coloring because sometimes this part gets missed because you can't really see it depending upon the color of your toilet bowl cleaner. It gets a little sussy, which is nice. The scent is not too pungent. I mean, I can really only smell the fresh lime when my face is down in my toilet bowl, but how many of you are actually sticking your face down in your toilet bowl like I tend to do? <laughs> All right, let's give this a good, this is just really satisfying, yes. This would be great if you want to clean the toilet on vacation, just kidding, who's gonna do that? Woo wee! I'm gonna test two stain removers that claim to be some of the best with you. I'm gonna use some shoe polish. This is an old kitchen rug. I'm kind of sad to do this, but you know what? We gotta make a stain when duty calls. There we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. And shoe polish is hard to get out. Okay, I'm gonna let this fully dry, but let me show you the products that we are gonna be testing out. You know, my beloved Folex, this works great, not just on carpeting, but also on your clothing. Here are all the things that it can remove. Even red wine, rust, moist old stains I'm reading upside down, blood, coffee, fantastic. Here's the other one, one of you recommended this, Vanish Oxy Action. This says that it's gone in 30 seconds. I'm like, no way is that actually true. So let's look on the back here of this packaging and you can see all the different things that this particular product can remove. One word of caution here, it says spray on stain and leave for a maximum of five minutes. So which one is gonna be our winner? Is it the Folex or is it gonna be the Vanish? Let me know in that comments box below what you think it's gonna be. Let's start with Old Faithful. Put a generous amount on there. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my little green machine. This is a must have in anyone's cleaning arsenal. You need to extract stains, not just rub them in, cause that's, that's not gonna be helpful for you. So, I'm nervous. Let's see what we come up with. Two times on that, it is not looking the greatest, but let's see what Vanish can do. Does it really? Vanish. Oh, it's foam. Let me. What does it smell like? Hmm. Stay tuned. My friend, this was not the result I 
was expecting. I mean, they did equally a bad job when it came to this shoe polish. Let's see what else we can do. I wanted to see right away if I just sprayed it on contact, sucked it up and see which one actually worked better. This time, I'm gonna let each product sit for 30 seconds and see if that makes a difference. Set our 30 second timer. 30 seconds is up, I've been told. Time for the vanish. 30 seconds on the clock. Time's up. What do you think? I think they did, I mean, obviously our stains are still there, but in terms of which one's better than the other for something that's really challenging to remove when it comes to stains, they're about the same in my opinion. I mean, I will say this vanish looks like it's gotten more of the stain in this area as opposed to this. So let's let this fully dry. Now, after adding a little agitation with my cleaning toothbrush, I do think that Folex is still the queen when it comes to any sort of stain removal. So this probably is a great product, but just not as good as this one. How about something that's super practical? Red wine, someone's having red wine and spills it on your carpeting. So let's just see, let's see what we're working with. Oh, there we go. Oh. I'm gonna let that sit and dry for just a hot minute because your guest didn't tell you that she spilled the wine. She's like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? And she paces around your house trying to figure out how to cover up this red wine. And then she's just like, well, maybe I'll drink a little more because then I'll forget I spilled the red wine. Just kidding. Maybe not. True test, I'm just gonna spray and extract. I'm not gonna let it sit for a prolonged period of time just so we can see. Relax, baby. Let's suck it up, suck it up. There's that, the vanish. I don't love the foam for this particular part, but I'm working with that. All right, I was not expecting this. Okay, I think the Vanish did a better job at the red wine. Yes, my cameraman is agreeing with me. No way. And can you imagine if I actually let these products sit for a little bit longer to penetrate the stain, how well they would work? I mean, Vanish, you you held up to your standards on that one. I love a good experiment. You know the cleaning industry is a billion dollar industry with so many products out there, so I test them all to show you what actually works. If you have not, make sure that you sign up for that free weekly cleaning and organizing home hack newsletter that is linked in that description box below. If you want to see some additional cleaning and home hacks, click this video on screen now. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you, my friend, in the next one.